Good morning. It's Friday, March 12, 2021. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of hope for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Relax and Enjoy the Ride, and our scripture is Ephesians chapter 1. He is so rich in kindness and grace that he purchased our freedom with the blood of his Son and forgave our sins. He has showered his kindness on us along with all wisdom and understanding. God has now revealed to us his mysterious will regarding Christ, which is to fulfill his own good plan. And this is the plan. At the right time, he will bring everything together under the authority of Christ, everything in heaven and on earth. Furthermore, because we are united with Christ, we have received an inheritance from God, for he chose us in advance, and he makes everything work out according to his plan. My dad had something of a wanderlust. His itchy feet always wanted to travel and see other places. His curiosity about life just soaked up details about history, technology, and what makes the universe tick. Underneath that was a layer of thinking reserved for commitment to caring for his family. And overshadowing all of it was an impish sense of humor took me well into my own advancing seven-plus decades of life to do this autopsy of what made Dad tick. On the surface, he seemed quite the uncomplicated average guy. But despite his comedic life-of-the-party side and plans for the next road trip, underneath Elwood Slim Brownworth had a fierce love that kept everything pointed in the right direction for those he loved. And you could tell... He was thinking about you. Once on a hot summer afternoon when I was about 10, our family of four was taking a little Sunday car trip of the back roads in our country. It was what our budget allowed for entertainment in those days. At one point, Dad called out to the back seat, Boys, close your eyes. Son Thomas, the elder, cooperated, but he probably knew what was coming. Son Russell, well, he required convincing. So Russell said, why? Dad said, just do it, you'll see. Russell said, why? In the middle of about four more whys, it became apparent I'd reached the end of Daddy Elwood's last patient nerve. The car had reached that spot where the road dipped like a roller coaster. In my memory, I can still feel my stomach flipping as the car got a little airborne and the jolt when it rejoined its place on the road. If I'd known anything about space shuttle travel in 1957, I'd have written to NASA for an astronaut application the next day. To this day, I'm certain my dad had stepped on the gas a little extra on my third why. The why of dad's care had to do with wanting to provide just a momentary fun part of this lazy drive. We couldn't afford a trip to an amusement park for a fancy roller coaster, but his 49 Ford was available, and his sons were in the back seat. Dad's final words on the topic still ring in my ear. He said, The next time I tell you to close your eyes, just relax and enjoy the ride. I'm thinking that applies now, based on St. Paul's words about our Heavenly Father's richness of grace and kindness. In the same way as my dad, knowing we were coming up on that fun bump, God knows where we are on this journey. And if I can put some words in our father's mouth, I think he might be saying something about how we really can't see much from the back seat of his car. But he can. The road may sometimes be boring from the back seat, and when we can't see the fun parts, we're liable to question more than cooperate. The current pandemic mess is even more undesirable than the back seat. It's like we've been moved to the car's trunk and the darkness is overwhelming. At least we think it's overwhelming. Paul said God has a firm grip on the steering wheel of this road trip and he knows the turns and the fun bumps and the destination and he's the one who held the door for us to get in the vehicle. He chose us. And I distinctly remember him whispering in my ear how the keys to that car are going to be mine.
and yours and all his forever families when the time is right. For you today, the pandemic realities are as scary as riding in the dark trunk, but remember who's sitting in the driver's seat. Relax and enjoy the ride. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.